Hi, I'm Martha. Welcome to Adulting with a Disability. Today I thought I'd share a bit of my story. As there's no point in me telling you to set goals and achieve your dreams without knowing how I've accomplished mine. Don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell if you're new here. And if you are a regular, I, I really appreciate you. And thank you for coming and watching my stuff. So I hope today you find it interesting. Soon after I was born, I stopped breathing and the lack of oxygen gave me cerebral palsy. So my cerebral palsy has limited the use of my arms and the use of my legs and also my balance. However, I'd like to say that my heart is in good stead. I have determination and courage and that helps me get to achieve what I want. And also my mind, like I'm very determined and I use a lot of ingenuity to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish. So I believe that I've had the same opportunities as other people. I've just had to tackle them in a different way. So I've always seen myself just like everyone else and I've wanted to compete with everyone else. And so I just want to share now a bit of my highs and lows. So I went to a regular high school but in year 11, I just got hired. I couldn't cope. So I left year 11 and took a couple of years off. I did a tertiary preparation certificate because I wanted to get into university. And I did. I got into accounting. And look, to be honest, accounting is not my thing. So I ended up leaving university with a husband but not a degree so yeah I guess I got something out of university a husband instead of university I went and did an advanced diploma in IT website production and management and then I went on to teach at TAFE and that was an interesting experience and then after that I did an advanced diploma in counselling and I also did some volunteer work at Fusion which is fun and I've also worked at different organisations and look along the way I have probably worked myself too hard and I got tired and so I've had to have breaks here and there. And I've also struggled with depression and broken dreams. And that has taken a lot out of me. So every time I guess I have a cycle that I, you know, I'm up, I'm fired, I'm achieving. And then I just work too hard. I get burnt out and I have to have a break and then I recover and start again and I guess you know in life people have that happen to them where they'll hit rock bottom and then have to build themselves up again and recreate themselves and so for me this has been a pattern in my life. I don't know if I can say, unfortunately, my heart has to be invested. If my heart's not invested, I can't, I can't stay. I have to figure out what's going on and then keep going. Life is not easy for anyone and everyone goes through highs and lows. And when I've hit rock bottom, I've had to have a rest and when I've recovered my fighting spirit, 
I get up and go back out there and yeah I get up and go out there again and so this is what I want for you guys like I want I want you guys to want to achieve something you can say you know but Martha I'm an altar but Martha I had an accident but Martha and it's true but you know what like it's important to have good self-esteem and if you're happy at home and you've got good self-esteem you're contributing to the community you're participating in life that's great you know having a job is not the be all and end all and that's not what i'm saying here i'm saying i'm talking about if you have a dream I want you to be able to fulfill that dream and know that just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean anything. What you can dream, you can achieve. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. So I want you to start dreaming. I want you to start thinking about, okay, if I didn't have my disability, what would I be doing? Or with the skills I've learned along the way, what can I do to use them to make my life better and the life of those around me better? Start dreaming and don't forget to ask for help. In upcoming vlogs, I want to talk about how we can use our NGIS packages to support us, to support our infrastructure to propel us forward towards our goal one step at a time so think about what i'd like you to think about today is firstly dream big dream about what you would like to do and then with those people around you whether it be paid supports or informal supports friends and family how can they help you to achieve your goal? Alright, that's all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.